At this point, I don't really feel that it has been worth it because I haven't really seen any major investigations take place. It seems like everybody that's been interested in investing it, investigating it has been scared off by something or other. We had two congressmen that announced they were going to launch probes, and within a week they both withdrew. Some of their concerns, of course, are personal. They worry about families burdened by their absence. But the primary questions that plague the two are more philosophical. Convinced that life-threatening situations did and still do exist at Surrey, why, they ask, doesn't the public seem to care? I feel as though we've been, been uh, made to look foolish and, you know, and we're going to go and spend some time in the, the uh, penitentiary uh, and yet nothing's going to be done. The same conditions exist today that existed on April 27, 1979. And they continue to feel that they were not given a fair trial. We have a, a, a first trial where the judge did not even make an attempt to make it look fair. Uh, he said save it for the appellate court. We had a 15-minute uh, chance at the appeals level. And I think that, that uh, had a jury been allowed to hear any of that, that we would have been justified. Of what do you think you're being convicted? <laughs> of, uh, <laughs> of what do I think we're being convicted? Of damaging the reputation of Vepco. Of rocking the boat? Yes. Martha Graham, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Newport News.